Let's get started. Okay. Oh, I forgot to change the game is on. All right. Should work now. You should see it now. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's get started. Ooh. There's explosions up there. There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here what you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say, ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. That's only a problem one time. That was only a problem one time. And there's maybe a few times after that, but hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Requires launch codes. Oh, so it's a hold to jump? That's cool. It's not an achievement that I want to get if I can still get it. Although I don't know how you can see your, your health. Oh well. Oh well, I don't think I can get it now. Hey, it's you. Sight said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into the space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. I want to practice with this probe before you go, aw, you're just saying that, but if you really want to practice with me, I guess I could help you a little bit. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you got. Fly ship mode. Oh. Oh, is it landing on it? Alright, this is going to be difficult. What a landing, I guess. Hello. What a landing. 
I guess that's why Slate lets you fly the real thing, huh? I don't know if that's necessarily true. I failed quite a few times before I actually landed that. Heyo, Hatchling. I hear you leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and uh, Gossin open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst the star. One star, actually. Other stars are too far away. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting. An iron stomach is the mark of a true hearthian, my friend. Our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error, but which I mean, by which I mean ancestors survived eating a lot a lot of bad things. Okay. You're actually blasting off that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. Yeah, the space probe can certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than our pre your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Our, our one doesn't work. So it's launch day, huh? I was gonna miss you. Speaking of which, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is gold. Is it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be a perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping the space problem. Just say the word. Oh, really? Dang. Well, maybe someone needs a new porch or something. A big one. Can't go inside. Is there anyone else we can talk to? This... Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take a prop proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the travelers' instruments. Oh, sure. I made all their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's, uh, Chariot's drums, Rybeck's banjo, and Gabro's flute. The Feldspar's harmonica, of course. Though Feldspar has been missing for a long time, sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space. That'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company... If you feel like company, you can always pop out your signal scope and track them down. Okay. Observatory. This is where we're supposed to be going. Hulu, Hulo astronaut. My favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but more rain won't let us borrow their signal scopes because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey. Can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we? Sorry, can't today. Aw, oh, really? But... We can't play without a signal scope. Let us play. Let's play later, okay? Okay. Silent type, I see. Of 
Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, sinking helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater. Guess, well, I'll be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water plant. That big water plant at Giant's Deep. That'd be where I'd go. Why is that? One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep. One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabriel told me about their first trip to Giant Steep. They landed their ship e easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see far, uh, couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was. I guess too dark. Gabra wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, and suddenly Gabra couldn't go any further. I will. I was just pausing for dramatic effect. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabra go any deeper. It held Gabra back, almost as if it was trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabra saw it. Tentacle of a hideous beast. Uh, I mean, that's what Gabra said anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabra out pretty good. Anyone, everyone wants to hear new stories in the village campfire, you know? Make sure you bring some back with you. Zero G cave. Sounds fun. Also, there's direction, directional audio in that kind of made my head hurt. Because I couldn't hear it at all in my other ear. Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside the f this fence? Gosan said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It takes a su su super long time to go anyway. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village where I'm growing up. Ghost matter is awesome. Ghost matter is super cool, it'll burn the heck out of you. Yeah, I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels your ar whole arm is on fire. Try not to walk into any in space, okay? It sounds bad and painful. Danger inside the fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous <laughs> substance that's invisible, naked eye. The good news is you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through the ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. I'm... I'm pressing... I'm pressing it. Is it not turned on or something? Because it doesn't work. Oh, shit. Is that how you're supposed to die? There's a... There's an achievement to die in the first... 60 seconds. Am I stuck in here? Well, I'm curious. Ooh. Oh, I died. Cool, cool, cool. Seems I have died. You are dead. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for... For letting me down easy. <laughs> ah. Certain parts of Echoes... Is, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess... I guess just dying is the end. That's good to know. Go up that way. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna do this real quick. Oh, that's inconvenient. Well, I feel like I'll die if I land from here. There we go. That was the achievement I wanted. Gone in 60 seconds, die within 60 seconds of waking up. There we go. I won't die as fast again. I just wanted to, to get that. Although having to restart every time he dies is going to be annoying. Although I guess that makes it realistic. Let's actually go to where we want to go. Although I'm curious about this. What's with the radio? We want to play hide and seek. All right, let's play. Oh, here are the rules. All right, we'll hide with these radios and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Oh, I have two sets of eyes. That's cool. Oh, I see him. Ah, oh, you found me, but my heading spot was super good. Don't forget you have to find both of us, okay? Alright, this is this is good to know. That this is a mechanic. I won. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. No problem, kid. Is that underground? Sorry if you need my roommate. They're sitting right outside my door and they don't seem to understand that. Oh well. Let's keep going up. We need to go to the observatory. Is that the observatory there? Or no, that's probably the observatory. This is... You scout launcher. Northwest Geyser Mountain, Northwest Gro Grove Center, Almy Ruins, okay. Ow. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I've got zero G training set up if you want a refresher. Hey. I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting to you, right? Or nerves getting the better of you? Right. Like, if you weren't nervous on your first flight. Hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves are between you and me in the vast endless endlessness of space. But really, you'll do fine out there. I'd worry more about that ship if I were you. Hopefully, that lunatic slate has at least fixed the retro ro rockets. So listen. There's a satellite which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the Zero-G cave in need of repairs. If you're looking for a last minute Zero-G practice, head down and lift. Head down the lift into the cave, or don't, so, so long as you're confident you can make the ship repairs in space. Cool, get it. Get to it. And try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch.
I see. So we're gonna be like at the center of the planet so the gravity will be weaker. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to open the door. Is that not a door? Do I have to wait for this again? Fuck. That's annoying. There's no door that I had to open. Also, that's not zero G, it's just low G. Because there is gravity. Or here it is. Suit up. Hey, nice of you to drop down. Getting some zero G time in. You're going in there? In the cave? Hmm. What? No, I'm fine. Great, great, great and fine. You don't look fine. Well, you know I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. <laughs> now I got hand sweats. I mean, you sh you did sort of request of it. Not one to turn down a request. There we go. Nothing little tape can't fix, I guess. Alright, where to... Is there a way to rotate? Just being sideways isn't... Where's the last? Oh, I see. That's, thank you. I was not, for some reason, I decided not to read the instructions. I don't think I ever read the instructions. I understand. So when you get up enough, close enough to re to repair it, you want to uh, you want to uh, turn on the velocity matching so that you stand still enough to be able to. Uh, I see. I assumed one one comes with the uh, 
one of those suits come with the uh, the, 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 the the ship. Hopefully, I don't need that pair specific uh, that suit specifically. All right, we repaired that. That seems easy enough. A lot easier than the the drone, the rocket drone that. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurling through space, but don't. But just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there, and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you. Got it? Okay. Thanks. Thanks, man. Doesn't seem like there's a way to open doors. All right, observatory, here I come. Outer Wild Adventurers. Founding members, clockwise, top left. Hornfells, Gassan, Slate, and Feldspar. Cool. Timber is first and only. Timber Hertz first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Harthian to be intentionally launched into space. They can. Completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings to our moon, the Atler Rock. You crying? Markably intact statue carved by the Naomi, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Naomi, who appear. To have covered in an, uh, with a layer of fur, note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found almost on every planet in the solar system, we have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Oh, now my, uh, no my, not Naomi. I guess that makes sense. I. Honestly, I'm not looking at it that deeply, so I just I made an assumption. I mean, all the word, all the letters are the same, and the and we technically only look at the first and last letters. So when we read, "Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut," launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tool's inaugural flight too, so I'm excited. I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be. Able to translate any no my text you want any anywhere you are. The f two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Haha. <laughs> oh geez, do not break it. Ugh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've been waiting for this day ever since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So, what's the dirt? You here to to see the new Nomai statue? New statue? You haven't heard? Gabra brought it back with them from Giant Steep, and Hornfells just finished prepping it for display. This is it right here. Neat, huh? Makes me wish we could see what a real life Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is. The first fully intact statue ever found, you know? And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, geez, I got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? He said, no, my writing was essentially... was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text, text is linear, no, my... 
text often branches from a central point. Interestingly, each branch extent, uh, tends to be written by a different author. Aside from the dwelling and the structure and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai artifacts depict strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in this in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system? Were they born among other stars and planets? If they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xeno-archaeological expeditions. Got my controller. Stop moving. Fired up just today. All right, let's continue. What you see here are part of the Nomai. Uh, skeleton, we can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as the shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Harthians couldn't have descended from Nomayan, Nomayan ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to the pu this puzzle as we explore our solar system. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to our outer wilds ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This is dramatic. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost in the depths of space. Ooh. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to reverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Ah, that's weird. Cool. Oh, that's what we've looked at already. This anglerfish specimen has was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Cool. Star is massive. If a star is massive enough, it contain it will contain a few. It will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called the supernova. Based on Schert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. As a star contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand, and the star will become a giant, a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. I'm, I'm going backwards through this. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. The strange rock moving around 
in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Garbo claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. So it's a quant. Okay, that's weird. Uh, whatever it actually has actually happened both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. So, like, if I look away, it changes. Oh, it... I see. So if I'm if I'm over here and I can see both of these and I look away, it'll only be on the one that I'm not on. Okay. Also, I don't think like in real life, I don't think a quantum system like this can happen on such a large scale. But what do I know? The radio tower here on Tipper Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite and to this day still houses the first ever photos taken of the so entire solar system. Photos were made possible by the deep space satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the planet, the plane of the solar system. Thanks to a recent upgrade, the Deep Space Satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. Cool. I think that's everything? Nope. Watch closely as these balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think is causing the spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Atler Rock gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on E right now. Cool. That's cool. I think that's everything in here. Let us continue. Whoa. Okay, so there's quite a few planets. So, yeah, quite a few planets. I feel like these ones are going to be the more difficult ones. And then these ones are going to be the easier ones. That's what I think it's going to be like. Just based on how they, just, they were being described. Hornfell's observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but... They're not, they're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means that the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I think I need to sit down. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Know My Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. I mean, what are your plans in space? Um, I don't want to learn more about the Know My. Might have guessed as much. No sense in making a translator tool if you're not going to use it to translate anything. We barely scratched the surface of the Nomai writing in our solar system, so we still know very little about them. We have no idea if they they originated here, traveled here, or why they disappeared. That tool of yours should prove indispensable in solving the mysteries of this ancient species. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. I'll... All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to get off the space. Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get you off the ground before Slate makes more, any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Launch codes. Dash, dash. Dash, dash. Dash, dot, dot. Dash, dot. Wish I could sprint. Creepy.
That's what that's what I've done so far. Huh. That's weird. So if I it probably means I have to like do something for it to do something. A shoe looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, the statue was doing what? So it opened so its eyes opened and you saw images from your own memories and glowing light flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like medically speaking. You know what? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna say this one. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfels tried everything to get the statue to open its eye get the statue's eyes to open. Nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabra said that that they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabro, you know, Gabro, Gabro's, you know, Gabro, so maybe you'd better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going to space. Hey, I'm, like, talking really fast, and I'm getting out of breath. You need to, like, slow down and, like, breathe. Hey, see if you can use your translator tool to find out any inform any find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. It's been forty almost fifty minutes and I haven't even gone into <laughs> gone into space yet. Holy shit. I'm I'm exploring. I feel like I understand. I think I feel like I know what's gonna happen. Considering I have to restart every time I die, I feel like I'm gonna die quite a bit. That's my that's my 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 thought. Either I'm gonna die a lot, or I'm not gonna die at all. And just me dying has been, a f like, just because I really suck. Who last time out? Are you going to space today? Are you going to space? Never coming back like Feldspar did. That's pretty disturbing. Hornfell says no one knows what happened to Feldspar. Hornfell say, says they got lost in space even though they were the best pilot ever. You're not as good as Feldspar, so you should really be you should be really careful not to get lost. Thanks, kid. I that doesn't freak me out at all. Hey, it loops all the way around. I kind of want a marshmallow. Oh, I didn't mean to doze off shit. Wanted to roast the marshmallow again. the launch codes. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I messed I messed up. Oh well. Do we not get any weapons? I mean I guess. You ship logs. You entries. One only Harthian village as well as main source of explosions on this planet. Naomi statue. The observatory opened its eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights on my, in my own memory slash before my eyes. How says the statue never had opened? Run in rumor mode. View entry. 
Gave it the very same timber heart. Prepared the satellite for Gusson. Also, as Gabriel went back to Giant Sleep to try to learn. Okay. All right. Let's let's get flying. Um, oh, let's go there. Yeah, let's go there. X the match velocity. All right, so I can auto autopilot. Oh, is it gonna take me into the sun? I guess it's going the wrong way. What's this? Oh, that's is that where we just came from? That's where we just came from. Maybe. All right, let's go. Let's go to one planet. At least the autopilot's a thing. Good enough for me. <laughs> um, I should probably suit up, you know. Hmm. I should probably land in there, probably, right? I should probably land in there. I feel like that'll be... I'll return that for now. I should... Oh. Huh. That seems dangerous. I should land a bit better so that I can, uh... Oh, I'm dying. Shit. I died. No, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? I was in the ship. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this? Oh, is this like the... N Okay, I have the launch goods again. Hold up. I already got them from the observatory, remember? Huh? Must have been inhaling some morphemes than I realized. This stuff is potent. Well, if you got the codes, I'm not going to stop you. Good luck to take care of the ship. Okay. Well, at least I know that this happens. I don't think I can get to Hollow just yet. And I know that I die in space. That's That's important to know.
Okay. That's an interesting one. That looks like energy. That looks like, uh, like how power works. AC power works. Power bands. I don't want to go here. All right, let's. Some interesting stuff over there. Hopefully, it doesn't autopilot me through the. Uh... Yeah, I mean that's what I mean. I don't really know enough about like. F oh, hopefully it doesn't fly me into this fucking sun. It, it flew me into the fucking sun. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Alright, that is, that's a good piece of information to know, though. Am I gonna have to go through this animation every single time? Can I, like, skip it? Probably, I couldn't figure out how to skip it, so I'm assume no. Also, I should probably get closer to it before I uh, autopilot. Unless it's not in the way of the sun, because apparently the autopilot's not smart enough to not fly me into the sun. You know, this is the only place that I know of now. So I'm just gonna go here, because I feel like it doesn't hurt to. Although I'm curious about this. Oh, I think I'm gonna die. I think I'm gonna die. Oh, I didn't die. Oh. Perfect landing. I'm gonna suit up just to be safe. Okay. Unidentified signal nearby. Ooh, that's convenient. Let's go. Luck. Luck luck is on my side, I guess. It's nice to see you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So, hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately, or is it just me? No, nope, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Okay, I seem pretty calm about it. Time has been behaving unusual lately. Yeah, a time loop makes sense. Cool. What do you think it was? I figured it has to be some kind of fidgety time business, but... I wasn't really thinking about what's happening to the shape of time, you know, but a loop makes sense here. Like, go with loop. Let's go with loop for now. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfell and asking if they died too. They thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remember by the, by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from the loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to the big stone Naomi statue I- or no, my statue I found on one of the other islands. I was looking at it and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like I'd seen them through my own eyes. 
just like what happened each time I die. That's what happened to me with the statue at the museum. You too, huh? Then the Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory, but if you find anything new about the statues in the time loop, let me know, okay? That tornado seems to be getting rather close. I'll be here. Anyway, uh, that's what's new with me, but hey, this is your first solo voyage, kind of. Let's talk about you, you, you know. I found something. Nice. Oh, so this is who I come to with, like, information. Okay. That's good to know. So I come to this guy to sort of... That seems to be getting really fucking close. What the fuck? Okay, so tornadoes throw islands into space. That's cool. Oh. Okay. Oh, we're underwater now? Okay. How do I take photos? Oh. So... If I step forward, I get hurt. Okay, that's good to know. It's also cool that you can just take photos and you don't have to throw it. It's probably more convenient than, uh... Hello. More convenient than throwing it. I'm trying to see far away, I guess. Oh. Yeah, that's that signal. I've identified that signal. What do you mean? I want to get better at cooking marshmallows. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. Let's go. Okay, I figured it out. Although I don't know what that does. Does that heal you? I'm assuming that heal you. Alright, let's get out. Oh, shit. I guess let's get out of here before... Yeah, let's... Do I need to identify it by, like, scanning him up close? Okay. Also, there's another island over there that I'm curious about. Although I don't know how we'd get to it. This island seems kind of, you know, weird. Alright, let's... Let's go back in. And... Uh, let's see. So we got Gabra's Island. Statue Island. One island giant sea, uh, no my statue on the beach, just like the one Gabra bought back to Timbers. There's more to explore here. Okay. Interesting. There's more on this island? Maybe we have to be launched into space to see it? Or I just didn't check over here. Nope, there's nothing there. Hmm. 
Since we're here, we might as well look around, you know? Or it has something to do with the ghost. I'm not entirely sure how to deal with the ghost yet. Also, maybe we have to get launched to... I just started. I started an hour and seven minutes ago. Eight minutes ago. Hour and eight minutes ago. So, very beginning. Yeah, this is... So I'm going into this fresh, fresh eyes. Yeah, no, I died more than that. I died four times already. I died twice on... I died one time intentionally on uh, Timber Heart. And then one time unintentionally. Because I wanted to get the die in 60 seconds achieve achievement. Because I saw that while getting the game. I thought that was pretty funny. So I wanted to get that. And I did. And then those are my two deaths there. And then I think you saw my other two. Okay, so Tornado is coming. I will... Hopefully not get launched by the tornado. So I'm curious what's... Oh, shit. I don't- I don't remember how to flip! I don't remember how to flip! Oh, shit, I'm gonna die. Oh. I didn't die. Let's go. Trees, oxygen tank refilled. Is Gabber just fine with this? Alright, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna leave this island for now till I can find its mysteries. And then I'm gonna try to find the other the, the other island since that's my only other clue. Yeah. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't get my, uh... There we go. go. Let's try to land on a different... Different island. This one seems promising. I don't know if this refills. So, little scout. See beyond the horizon. Illuminate dark areas. Detect hazards. Test the environment. I see. Okay. That's good to know. Oh. Okay, it seems fine. So there's a ghost on that path. I need to go this way. All right, I'm just going to sit here until we go back down. Trees detected, oxygen refilled. Okay, there's our ship. Oh, did our ship just get, like, thrown around?
Oh, ghost there. So the ghost is in the center of Okay, so that just sticks to it, meaning Is there any other? Okay, so there's. Ga I think Gabra is the only thing on this planet, frequency-wise. Oh, so there's two ghosts over here. I guess there's one there. The only thing I can think of is to go up. I don't know how I'm going to get back over there. Oh, shit. Alright, I can put that away. Oh, is there something? Oh, it might be I could get it on the other side. So I might need... Okay, so the ghost is here. It's like right in front of me. So I might need to wait until... Or I could have just like landed better. Hmm. I don't feel like this is like a parkour type of problem because the suits, I mean, the gravity is really heavy here. Oh, let's, uh. Ooh. Maybe here I can get across? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I should have I should have listened to my gut, and I'm wasting fuel. No, no, I'm stuck. How did I fucking do this? Wow, this is something only I could fucking do. And I think I'm just abs. I think I'm just actually stuck. Oh, no. I'm almost. I'm almost out. I almost got it. There we go. Oh, and then I could. I didn't realize I could boost. Like that. Okay. Cool. Is this island... I don't get anything for this island, so... I don't think this island is good to be on. So let's... Figure out... How... Let's figure out how to get out of here. Because I feel like I am stuck again. This is fun. Okay. How do I... How the fuck did I do this? Oh, am I getting out? Am I getting out? I'm in space now. Might make this easier.
Nope. I'm stuck. Fuck. Are you serious? Okay, let's take a look at... Oh. That's fun. So I could probably use that to launch myself out, maybe, but also is Gabbro stuck here? Because he I didn't see a ship. How the fuck did I do that? How am I going to get out of that? bad. Uh, okay. Great. Ships up there. Boosters kind of suck on the on the. Okay, I'm I'm. Fucking struggling. Any any advice? Because I could probably use it right now. How to unstuck things? <laughs> okay. So I'm just I'm just fuck I just fucking suck. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, so how am I going to unstuck this? You see the shit? It's like... It's wedged between all the roots. How am I going to... I don't... I don't know. Okay, this, this seems possible if I can just get in the ship again. Because I'm almost out of fuel, and if I'm out of fuel, that seems like I won't have any way of fixing things. Oh. Oh, I died. I'm assuming the sun blew up, because that was the same animation. Or my ship blew up. Either either one. Probably, uh, but... Uh, either one. <laughs> it's all on the same island. Okay, that was my longest life. So far. But I think I understand sort of like the gameplay loop. Because I'm assuming the ship logs don't reset 
Although I will need to test that. Hopefully the ship logs don't reset. Hopefully that's part of my time loop. Or I'm the one who writes in my ship's logs. Okay, they don't get reset, that's good. Actually, doesn't our planet have a moon? I don't know if this is the... That's not the moon, I don't think. Hollow Lantern. Where's our moon? the closest thing. Might as well look around on here before doing anything. Here we go. Let's wear a suit so we don't die. Reflight checklist. Freeze time while talking to others. Note there are certain periods when time cannot be frozen. Freezes when talking to characters and reading journals or signs, prevent character animations from playing. Okay. The separate button manual or any time upward thrust is used. I see, so this is more like a... Uh, I see. So this is just... That's okay. That's good to know. Alright, let's check this out. Why are there trees on the moon? Do I need my suit? Hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's... Been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travelers come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes, shirts shirt comes by to say hi, but Gabro... <laughs> yeah, I can I I think I'll undo that. But Gabro's Gabro, you know how Ryback feels about unnecessary space flights. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you want to ask? Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with the with ground control, Hornfells and Gossin mostly, and they radio up a chat now and to the chat now and then. When ground control forgets, I'm up here, and they usually do. I launch my little scout out, scout at the village. They forget about you? You spy on us? What? No, I'm not. It's not spying. It's it's one-way communication that none of the villagers know about because I've never told them. Don't go. I mean, okay. What was that you were whistling? Was that you whistling? Probably, or actually definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with the signal scope you know best spot for that is the north pole best recep great reception the north pole is marked in red on your map but the atler lock is a pretty small moon really just go north you can't miss it um talk to you later how do i know which way is north Also, we're really close to brittle. I guess, I mean, these are pretty circular orbits. 
Oh, damn, that is strong here. Esker's signal scope log, A48. Still not picking up Ryback's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I hear their instruments. One, listen to Shirt play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gossen that their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Ryback's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Day 63. Today, I thought I heard some things. Strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. 70. No, it's back again today, too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the, the sound from Timber Hearth goes exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. Can't be them. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. Better talk to Guinness. Ooh, okay. So there's... So he's probably on Brittle Hollow. He's just stuck somewhere. He might be underground. There was a camp in the geyser when I fell into it. Ooh. This is interesting. Oh, what? Oh! This is weird. This is like pointing at the different thing. Oh, this... This seems like it. it's their lang- I mean, this seems like their language. Oh, is that a comet? No. Oh, that's like a really weird orbit. The interloper. It seems like it doesn't know where to go on this one. Also, I feel like I should be able to use... How do I use the... Uh... Banzai. Oh, this is the translator. Callius, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and I can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep, and brittle hollow. Oh, it's, however, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device's device indicator rotates wildly and never points at just one location or in one direction. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye in the, of the universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Kasava. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Interesting. Is there anything else that I missed here?
Oh, that's everything. I see, I see, I see. So scrolls are what holds the text, and these just display them. That sh this should, uh, where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Connie, or Conway, would enjoy that immensely. He always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child so long at, born so long after the crash. I'll begin construct. Why is that so long when like the text itself is like shorter? I'll begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. Okay, so the locator seems to be in the Brittle 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 Hollow. And now, uh, and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat on the sun of the sun made its construction challenging. I would recommend building on that. I wouldn't recommend building building on that planet. Okay, interesting. Okay, wow, wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers pictures, but this is I'm seeing it for myself. It's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um time for some official notes. So this is some kind of know my locator. It can point out the different it, the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. Not, sh I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back to the old ship and take off. Totally safe, mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Okay, I can't place it in there, so I'll just I'll just leave this here. Then doesn't seem like there's any other thing. That's interesting, though. Okay. So that's the sun. Is there, is there a signal in the sun? Doesn't seem like it. So he's on Brittle. Seems like a harmonica. Okay. Wait. Did I not just hear it over here? Is that not the same signal? Wait, what? Why is there two signals on the same thing? Okay. Interest. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. What is that? Wait, what was that? Huh. Ow. Alright, time to check out the logs. We, we learned a lot, it seems. Also, let's turn off that. Although, it probably helps for, like, 
Wait, what was that light? Oh, we're Eclipse. Oh, and that looks like writing. Okay. Let's get back into the ship. Check out the logs, see what's going on. Ooh, we learned a lot. So, view entry, Esker is growing a crop of trees at their camp. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. Lookout platform with a spectator view on the solar system. Esker uses their signal scope here to take keep tabs on other travelers. Esker signal scope log reports harmonica music coming from somewhere in Timber Hatch. They claim it sounds like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared ages ago. No my device created to pinpoint the source of distant signals. No my were disappointed that their failure to detect a signal is something called the Eye of the Universe. Rybex headed to Brutal Hollow to investigate something the No my were doing at the south. Pole. The Nomad decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal on Barda. Okay, so if I go to South Pole, I'll probably meet him. That's probably sure where I should go next. That and this, but I feel like this... This feels like the main path. Like, this orange one here seems like the main story. This seems like side clues, you know? There's more to explore. Okay, so that just means that there's more there. I just don't know what to, to do there. Um, let's go let's go back to I guess let's go back to uh oh, am I going towards the planet? I'm going towards the sun currently. Let's go to Nope, I'm going back towards the planet. Shit. Okay. Fun, fun. Why is the sun so bright? Seems like the sun's brighter than it was before, but that might just be because of the atmosphere. Oh, shit. Ow. Mining site 2B. See what's over here first. Uh. Okay. Assuming that doesn't really go anywhere, but this leads seems to go back to where we were before the village. Which I'll also refuel as soon as I can. Hmm. Wish I could run. I don't think I can, though. Skeleton. Do they not know of this place? I'd assume that they do. But they, like, died in here. Which seems weird. A 
Boeno. I'm still amazed at how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Syad. Psycad. Isn't this the one, the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. No, the material for those towers are all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically conceal off the chamber inside Ashwin's core. I'm relieved our clan's decision to use timber hearths or only for constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. If, if they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they're planning accordingly I thought you had forbidden your apprentices from making puns uh, colus how else will he improve fair point fair point okay so ash twin is that a planet is that the, so that's the ash twin okay before I go over there let's see what's over here Pick up Ashpin Projection Stone. Ooh. Huh. Oh, what is that? Oh, what if... What if we put it here now? Ooh. Yaro, my gratitude for the latest shipment, Oeno. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ashtwin project. Oeno, this is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for the final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ashtwin project could lead to disaster. Once we've finished the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to entrust, ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Rayman and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks, our final safety check. Interesting. So there's no, apparently no physical entry. Okay, that doesn't seem... I'll just set this here for now. I don't know what else it'd be used for. So I'm just going to leave that there. Seems like maybe a bridge, but I don't know. But imagine they just use stone like this bridge. doesn't want me in here. Oh, there's stuff down, maybe?
That's the source of the geysers. Ooh, here we go. Oh, is this just the is this just an elevator? It's just an elevator, okay. And it only takes us here. Okay, I think that's everything I need from here. But I feel like the the sun's gonna explode again soon. If that is what it was. Hmm. I should also refill. Whoa, what just happened? I got stuck in the water. Shit. Oh, that is trippy. That hurts my head. Shit. Problem's me. I, I keep fucking... I'll go the normal way. I'll just try to avoid the... Uh... Any stuff around? Oh, actually, there's a lot more stuff. Now that I'm looking. Also, I'm almost. I should refill. I should prioritize that before anything else. Fuck! Are you serious? Oh, I could just take. The, I could just take that. This old. Okay. That. I, I see. That just takes it back there. Let's refill our uh, fuel and then check the ship logs as well. My two goals for right now. Oh. Oh, there's something down there. Oh no. I see the problem now. Also, I think I'm gonna die. I was correct. <laughs> At least I didn't get burned to death in the sun. It's a very interesting game. Like, it tells you enough to know what to do next, but not enough where you're not confused. What is that? Let's, let's check the, uh, let's check the logs. After I check the logs, any mines, how many mines or site protective shell physically seal off the center central chamber inside Ashtwin. Once the shell was finished, Naomi checked to ensure the Nomai checked to ensure there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks. The central chamber inside Ashtwin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. So Ash Twin is somewhere we should go. What what are the color? Like what are the color uh color codes? It's 
seems weird. Because some are color coded, some are not color coded, some are like green, some are orange, it's weird. Okay, so where do, where have we not gone? Where have we not gone? We haven't gone to the Hourclass Twins. We've gone to Brittle Hollow, but not really. In the Dark Bramble we, we've been to, or we haven't been to, the Interloper. We've been there. We haven't explored everything, though. There is the Satellite. That somehow this map maps itself, which I guess kind of makes sense. Um, we should go here, though, because we just learned about that. Okay. So this time I won't be into the sun, be, th be thrusted into the sun. Which one's Ash Twin? Ash Twin is this one. Um All right, let's see if the cracks are really no cracks. Although I'm assuming it's gonna be correct and I probably could look here to see if there's anything of interest. This is interesting. Huh. I, whoa. Uh, my ship, my ship is currently, currently being sent down to this planet at mock, mock speeds. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm also flying through the planet. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Oh, my ship. Hey, it's come back to me. Well, it probably needs repairs, if I had to imagine. If it doesn't, I'd be surely impressed. Does it need repairs? Oh, it's fine. All right, let's... Let's land up here before the... Next uh, sand thing comes by. We'll land here. There we go. We are here now. Let's refuel before we leave. Let's check out this place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's sort of just like, I don't know if. It like has like ooh that went by really close. It like is like meant to come back to me if it goes too far away or something. If not, that was really convenient that it landed right on top of me. All right, let's. There was like a satellite dish. It seemed like. Also, is there any signal on here? That's a different planet, it seems. Anything on this planet? Nah. On this planet, yes. 
over there. Oh, we went around the whole planet already. Cool. What is that? That's weird looking. Oh, is that a supernova? Is that what that is? Is that a supernova? Also, that's a black hole. Because that's the same star four times, so the light is bending around it. Th those are- whoa, there's our- those are a lot of black holes. One, two, three, four, probably five and six. All around that. That's weird. It's also really cool. It's a really cool detail. Oh, also I didn't see that before. Also there's a space, there's like a station close by. Hello friend. Goodness, it's you. Hello. I take it this is your first your first launch, but well, well, welcome to Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. What are you up to? Hornfells asked me to update our star charts, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know? It's weird. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernova today. Usually it'd be I'd be fortunate just to see one. Keep an eye out for four for, keep an eye or four on the stars. Maybe you'll spot one yourself. Um, question for you. I don't know. Super look like a bright star's naked eye, but if you zoom in, it kind of looks like it's a Norman explosion. Massive stars. <laughs> that's that's cool. Uh, massive stars go supernova at the end of their lifespans, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. Wonder if these stars are older than we realize. How dangerous is that big column sand? On a scale of one to dead, I'd give it a seven or eight. Awfully pretty, though. Right now, sand is flowing from Ashwin to Ember Twin. But did you know the process eventually reverses? I'm not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomena. Oh, if you like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once a little, once a little more of its sand drains off. I'm a pro I promise you won't be disappointed. Just saying hi. I don't know if I'm saying okay. I've had to dig myself out once or twice and it's not half as fun as it sounds. Oh, that's cool. So the sand, I, I see. So this is probably an actual clock for when the sun blows up. That's what I'm guessing. Is that it's a clock for when the sun blows up. Whoop. Ow. What's in here? Hopefully something interesting. That's ominous. Oh, it's one of these rocks. Quantum fluctuations. Oh, you can like find different frequencies. I see, that's cool. Friends, if you find any signs of Collius, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during our research trip and has been missing ever since. Uh, Meloray. Some of us 
from the Sunless City are here to help search for Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Burr. Uh, Coleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hoped to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in, this, in the area. Where was young Coleus lost, Mallory? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of a dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened uh, in an instant and without warning. I turned away from Collius to examine a sample, but when I and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. I had a limited supply of air, and Ona, I'm afraid for him. He had a limited supply of air. Hypothesis. We will learn more by examining the northern lake bed cave where Collius disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. We have no time to, to squander. Is this the northern note? Oh. That's not what I meant. I'm curious what happens if I stand on it and look away. Oh, I did like a tiny jump and it just disappeared. That's cool. Ooh. Oh, is this the entrance? These are some ominous fucking sounds. Oh, what is that? A stress beacon. We need status reports for all systems, but initial things first. Is everyone unharmed? Our escape pods, passengers are afraid. But physically well, Anona, everyone survives the crash. It's a relief, at least. You have my gratitude. Burr was able to find the other escape pods' distress signals. I can hear both signals somewhere in the star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. So there's more of these around. Collision imminent, preparing impact. On three, two. Escape pod two vessel has been uh, mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting part of a partial of the vessel. Scan complete. External temperatures is prohibitively high. Verdict inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on planet's surface. Okay, so... The heat from this star system's sun is more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what scans show is a cave system with much cooler air. I'd recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter. I know no, but these passages are like, are a maze. Even with this danger, there's still the best chance to survive for survival. We'll form teams and descend into the caves to look for a shelter site. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming irre irreversibly lost. Be cautious, everyone, and be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Okay, so it's on this planet, which means it's when the reverse hat. Oh, there's going to be a lot of lore. Ooh, cactus. Does this hurt? It does hurt. Uh, emergency escape hatch. Keep moving, friends. There's nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. And and while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until a less urgent time. I'll check what's down here. Just to see if he was correct. Alright. 
It seems like the passage collapsed. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Class design examine the horror that lies at the terminus later, provided we make it through this. Okay, I'm curious. Whoa. How do we get in there? Hello. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been since... Uh, I remember you dropping in a while, like a few games ago. I forgot to retrieve it. Ooh, there's something down there. Oh, is that up? So there's, there's a way out from the top, or in from the top, so I can go through there. Let's keep looking for stuff here. Oh, the sands. Sands filling up the place. We found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. We believe... We could construct long-term shelter there. Oh, let me get that before it be before it ends. On note, of note, this passage leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tanks. Oh my, that's actually a good point. My tank's almost empty. I have not played Fire Emblem. But do not linger as the area is exposed to the heat of this alien sun. Oh, well, this is probably a bad idea. I should come back here at some point. Oh, and I didn't get to do that. Yeah, I should probably get out of here and come back. I feel like that's my best bet. Oh. I should also go to the... Ooh, what is this? Oh, these are probably the pods that they were in. Oh, I think the sun's gonna explode soon. Where's my ship? Ship's on the other side of the fucking planet. Let's go. Let's go to the other side since the sand seems to have gone away now before the sun explodes. Sun actively exploding and has it eaten the other planet yet? Nope, it hasn't. It's gone the wrong way. Oh shit. Well, it's not like it'll matter soon, anyways. Sun's exploding, you know?
Ooh. Hopefully this doesn't shoot me into space. Oh, this is like an observatory. Interesting. Can I go down? I cannot go down. Yeah, the sun seems to be exploding. So, I should, uh... Oh, my ship! My ship! No! Not again! Ooh, there's, like, writing and whatnot. Oh. I was not paying attention. Who is this? What the hell? So, oh, maybe up there. Oh, I think we're about to get consumed by the sun. I should do this before that happens. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, it took me way higher than I thought it would. so close to the sun now. Friends visiting from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ash Twin project at the High Energy Lab on Ember, Tw on Ember Twin's equator. I became lost on Ember Twin, my gratitude that Raimi found me, but the High Ember Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Cory Con Conoy would lose his own head if it weren't for it anatomically possible. Okay, so now we know what they were doing here. I should I mean I'm gonna die soon because of the sun and all. What, should, what could we do with this guy? I feel like we could do something. But it seems like we can't. Oh, this is a cool way to travel. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? Where the hell am I? Turning warp status charge. Step on the warp receiver platform to advocate return warp. Proper hide your time. Oh, is this the warp pad? I see. I should be careful walking on things, I guess. Why were the other warp pads not working, though? Hmm. Oh. Sun's exploding pretty slowly. So I feel like we have some time.
Oh, is this a floor made of those things? Here's our first delivery. Yarrow, one root core fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installed this core's, installing this core's sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ash Twin project is underway. I confess I am deep, I'm deeply curious about what you and Poak found on the White Hole on the White Hole situation that started this project. Could I visit some time to learn more? I, re I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built on the Ash Twin project. So a visit to the station would be doubly useful. I was supposed most probably uh, uh let's just get everything. I'm about to die. <laughs> okay, that seemed pretty... I feel like we progressed quite a bit with that. I didn't get to read it all, though. Sucks. I do want to explore that cave, though, because it filled up pretty quickly. Seems like my deaths are like whenever I like wake up, I'm not like like I'm just like I'm like progressively getting more used to dying. Which is kinda sad, you know. In all honesty. Actually, check out this planet, see if there's anything. Ooh, this seems interesting. Also, let's check out the logs. Quite a few chairs camp. Still a lot we're missing, especially in the caves. Escape pod number two, shelter site, anglerfish fossil. Yeah, we got a lot. That was really... We got a lot from that. Uh, one of three Nomai escape pods that crashed in our solar system. All three escape pods were launched Something called the vessel, which was badly damaged. I found a cave on an anglerfish f with an anglerfish fossil inside, but the opening was only big enough for my scout. Parrot set up an eye. Um, yeah. That's why I was crashing. I took shelter on the cave and he only discovered a promising. The no, my discover. I keep saying Naomi. Sorry about that. The Nomai discovered a promising long-term shelter site at the end of one of the passages beneath the escape pod. Um, so let's start it here. Several large Nomai towers form a ring around the equator. The White Hole Station was used as a model for these towers, which were built for the... Uh, okay. Spin started model after the white. Okay, that's all we know. And we crafted warp cores at the black hole forge before delivering them to the Ash Twins. The Ash Twin project was planned at the high energy lab, a building with a large solar panel on Ember Twins Equator. Um also, I feel like this, now that I think about it, is just dialogue with Gabbro. Right, probably the same with this. It's just dialogue. Quantum caves. I don't mind. Notice a strange 
wandering rock that appeared in multiple caves on Ember Twin's northern hemisphere. I found a strange rock shard that moves when I'm not watching. Emits a signal on the quantum fluctuation frequencies. There's more to explore here. Okay, I mean, yeah, I haven't done everything yet. No, my named Collis mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twin's north pole. How do I know which like, is there a compass that I just haven't seen? Alright, let's... Oh, does that generate its own gravity? I guess that makes sense. Oh. Hey, oh hatchling. Thought you were, uh, taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back, so I thought I'd come over take a look for myself. What crashed? I don't know exactly. It looks like some kind of plant seed, but it's not exactly... But it's not anything I've seen on Timber Hearth before. Hearth before. And trust me, it was I was quite the explorer back in the day. Do you think... Uh, it's extraterrestrial. It kind of looks like something that might have come off of Dark Bramble. Whatever it is, it puts roots down in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling. And in fact, that's a, and that's a fact. Think I'll set Marl and Har, uh, Marl and Hal loose on it. Think. Uh, best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later, and no one can remove this unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I have to get a, I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody to hacking up potentially dangerous plants without a better idea of what's lurking on inside there. Tough can help me haul the old... Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside, and... Anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hand... Something he does, that's a good way to lose an armor, too. land. Okay, so there's something inside of probably... Okay, so that makes sense. I succeeded a lot of damage when it crashed. I like the crater. I threw a little scout inside the seed. You did, did you? Are you telling me it's bigger on the inside than on the outside? Hmm. This is gonna be a core to chop up and no mistake can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay in the same size all the way through maybe i'd better grab an extra axe or three just in case my signal scope is picking up a harnica inside the seed huh don't know what to tell you there only harmonica player i know is feldspar but they disappeared ages ago listen here don't go telling uh Janice about the harmonica music okay they'll never get me rid of me they'll never let me get rid of this darn seed if they suspect it has a mu any musical talent <clears throat> all right seems productive is there anything else around here but I haven't, uh, haven't, uh, seen. Nope, I think that's it. Alright, is there anything else on this planet that I haven't seen? So I, I realize I haven't really seen a whole lot. Of this planet. So I'll, I'll look around a bit. That's the ice we were in before, which I think we've... Oh, that's the, uh, the satellite that 
Oh wait, there's more of these? I guess we'll check a different one. Ooh. Ooh. No! No! Okay, I know this is here now. That's at least something. Oh, I knew this was here before. We've been here. Am I going into orbit? It's like starting to orbit around. After closer observation, mining site 2A wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of the cave's pools, so unfortunately we'll have to mine one of the other sites. There are a few other cave sites that look promising. Uh, what about 2B? It shares similar formations and strata. It sounds promising. Uh, will you and your mentor investigate if mining 2B proves safe for this Native species will move our work there. Site 2B is safe, Kalias says. We'll continue to monitor our activity and its effect on life here. On the opposite hand, new, new life. Uh, this species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is very robust, and I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be cautious near the pools if you ever if you visit Two A to meet them. I was watching them once during a rest, and the hours escaped from me. They're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. Ah, so it's us, but like an older version of us. They remind me of a subterranean species that our mentor more. Uh, Melloray once told me about from when our clan used to travel across this universe. I imagine she would have enjoyed these light forms greatly. What are these things? Oh, that's cool. Why is it down here, though? Is this 2A? Oh. Pollution. My favorite. Is there anything of use here? wait until it launches me back up. Oh, there isn't anything here. This is what I originally jumped in. So this is probably just like a trash can for some people to use. I do imagine. Oh, this is like a dried up river. Or is it dried up? It's not dried up. I will say the uh, geography of this place is kind of 
weird. Anything else on this planet before I continue my search elsewhere? Thinking of going to back to uh, back to the broken uh, planet. I forgot what it was called. I'm sort of busy trying not to crash right now. To Ooh, this is new. Or it's not new on the planet, it's new for here. For I haven't been here. Oh, this isn't working. I should, I, I should also visit that at some point. Ooh. Yeah, I should also visit that at some point. Is this... Ooh, this is like... Oh, this is where we were before. So it wasn't in the same... area. Ah. Yeah. Interesting. I see, so they, like, took the things out of the cave, and they warped them to probably this ghost. There's a ghost there. Ow. Where's our health? I don't think I've seen a health bar anywhere. Unless it's just like you die when you die, and the health is just the your vision getting blurry. Oh, there's another ghost. Okay, interesting. So there aren't all like. It isn't like all ghost over here. It's all ghost. So that whole area is ghost. Are ghosts like protecting something? I mean, I guess I'll figure out if there's like a pattern or something. Fuck, I died. Shit. I'm getting really, un like, not careful with stuff. I should go to Bramble at some point. Dark Bramble, I think. But I should also, I should go back to uh, the deep planet. What is that? I mean, I guess I'll figure it out at some point, but it's weird. Um, let's check. Have we learned anything? Oh, dark bramble seed inside the seed. That's all we learned. We don't learn as much at that time. A seed from Dark Bramble crashed here and already take root. Uh, tech tight. Once these a scout launcher, my signal scope picks up harmonica music when I'm when I aim at the seed. I launch my somewhere the seed is bigger on the inside. When I launch my seed, crashed that crash ended up in a much bigger filled with fog and thorns and finds. Are wait are the are they color coded? Wait. 
Are these color-coded? So these would be Ash Twin stuff. No, this is... Or maybe these are things related to... The, uh... The Nomai. These are things related to... Wildlife? Maybe? Potentially? Probably not. Or like sub-stories from the Nomai? Right, because this would be on the moon. I mean, this was also on... I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll figure out at some point. Let's go back to... Let's go here. So what is that? Oh, is that another... Is that like a quantum planet? Ooh, that's interesting. So that's the guy's camp. We should go to this one because this has like a warp pad on it, I think. Oh. Oh, I should I should do this from Brett's island. Or that's not his name. That's not his name at all. Am I saying Brett? You see, like I feel like he's a Brett. Like, I feel like Brett is, like, a good name for him. Oh, shit. Are we in space? No, not yet. Do we have to re-talk to him about the uh, time loop stuff every time? A few loops ago, a cyclone came and tossed my little island into space. Dying like that was kind of unpleasant. How do you stay so, cal so calm in the face of repeated impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously, I meditate. Want me to teach you? It'll be the next uh, loop before you know it. Sure, why not? Okay, close your eyes. Am I dying? And then I'll wake up. Okay, that's cool. I just... I'm gonna have to refly out there. So that's literally all he's doing, is he's just waiting till death. Okay, that seems very productive and not solving their problems at all. Oh, shit. We have to actually lift off. Where am I going? I'm going here. Let's not meditate to our death this time.
against that island. There's something in the water. Is that a ship? Is that Brett's ship? Seems to be the case. Alright, let's land here, I guess. Dude. How am I going to get across the water? Anything else? You know, I kind of wish I built the hammock here before we ended up in this time loop. Um, where should I explore? There's something you might like uh, at the start of every time loop. I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. What else? What else? Have you, have you been to the Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it. It's an island where I found a glowing Nomai statue. Get it? Um, I was on the beach. It, I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened, by the way. It's a nice uh, beach for the kind of thing I give. For that kind of thing, I give um, a solid 7 out of 10. A real galactic scale. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, one of two eyes connected by natural rock arches. Well, mostly connected anyway. You'll see. Um, where's your ship? It's a good question. Definitely on this planet somewhere. I mean, unless the cyclone came and tossed it into space, I guess. Yeah. That would be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Okay, the gravity here is rough. So I need to get to Statue Island. I'm assuming it's the glowing one, which is over there, I think. Where is it? So let's, let's launch before the tornado. Comes in, drags the island away. Can we float? I'm pretty sure we can float, right? So, L and I see. This is the island I think we want to be on. Oh, is this a launch pad? Or no, that's a landing pad. That probably keeps... Okay, that probably keeps it on the planet, since it seems to be going down, I think. I'll just have it parked here, just because it seems con like a convenient spot. So whenever I lo like use my thrusters, I get like sucked into it. Kind of, I mean, there's not really a lot of force being exerted whenever I use this. Can't really go super high. Oh, it's another statue. Statue workshop. Oh, the ball is missing. Oh, that's convenient. It 
It's kind of a weird way to travel. I feel like stairs is a bit more convenient, but I guess this works. These trees look dead, to be honest. So I don't know if they produce oxygen. Oh, that seems... Ah, is this a tornado safety zone? That's convenient. That's also very purple. Are you going to go back down soon? There we go. Back. Oh, shit. A bit too soon. You're going to test the memory statues tonight. Uh, Fullock says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? <clears throat> I really want to test, see the test too, Lammy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't... Maybe, uh... Loxel let us see a later test. Loxel specifically told us not to do that. There's another way in, it seems. Is that another tornado coming for us? I don't think so. Oh, shit. these things. Don't know what it does. Hopefully something cool. Hopefully another tornado doesn't come by while I'm doing this. You know what would suck is if you teleport through here and get sucked into a tornado. Welcome to Giant Seats, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in the workshop below inside the island. Can't teleport. That sucks. Alright, what is the other way that it mentioned before? Oh, RIP them. Oh, shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Can swim, at least. on here. So there's another way in. I just don't know where yet. So there's this. We should go back up to the top because I feel like that would be where it would be at. There has to be more of these on the side, maybe. Be my best guess. So 
Maybe if we look in here, we'll be able to see. Oh, thank you for, for thank you for stopping by. Appreciate the company. Let's see. Is there another way in? Seems that way is a way in. So if we go Seems like a tornado's coming. I probably won't stream much longer, so if you're still here, you probably won't you won't have to watch too much. I'll probably after the next time I die, I'll uh I'll stop, probably. Um tornado's coming. Oh, Maybe I have to do it while I'm in space? Oh, seems like I'm gonna die soon considering the sun is currently red. I'll try going that way, maybe up there. Ooh. Oh, distress beacons. I didn't even think to look for those. No, don't fall off again. Thank you. All right, where is the other way it mentioned? Because, I mean, I'll, ch I'll check again just to see. But it says the other way. Maybe I'll just check the outside to swim around. Be my my best guess. Maybe I do have to jump down this way. Maybe it's under water. There we go. Figured it out. Look how smart I am. All right. Now we can open this and then we can get in. Much easier. Oh shit, I just jumped in. On accident. So these are probably in progress statues. Yarrow, Yarrow, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is closest in closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz statue will record his memories and send him 
and send them to the Ash Twin. Ooh, okay. This is extraordinary sculpting work, uh, Flox. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a signal, a single nomized memories to his or her own storage unit within an Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding nomai. Okay. Okay, so the Nomai looks here. That gets sent to this, which is the mask. Wait, now that I'm looking, thinking about it, there was these masks uh, in the... Uh, 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 the uh, what is Ember Twin? Is that what it's called? I think it's called Ember Twin. Ash Twin. Uh, the Ash Twin um, hologram thing. And there were three lit up. So there might be one more person being time looped. So it might just be looking at... Oh. Here we go. This might show us. Uh, might not. I've installed the mask inside Ash Twin. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. You probably are. I feel like that's the point, right? It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. Uh, they will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their mask will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the situation. Of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Yeah, that seems very ironic. Oh, this is the projection that I was talking about. So one, two, three. There are three currently being on. I imagine maybe all of these are mine. Oh, no, no, there's only- there's a pair. So, okay. That's- that's my- that's my theory right now, at least. I don't know if it's correct, so... That does give me some insight into, uh... What's going? Oh, there's. Oh, I should stay inside here. There's another thing over there that I'll get before I uh, go. Let's go back to the ship. Talk to uh, what is his name? The interloper. Is it gonna hit the planet? No, it just barely misses. I really, I should really check out Interloper next time. Uh, tomorrow. Also, I need to get up there somehow. Oh, maybe when we're in space, I can jump across. That makes sense. So that means I'll have to wait for another thing. Ugh. Three minutes about, I should go back to the ship real quick. Oh, the sun's gonna explode soon.
It's a really cool game. Let's check this out. Statue Island we got. So Ash Twin Project is linked together. Every record... Every member recorded by the Nomai statue is tri-managed to incorporate the storage unit within Ash Twin. Nomai statue is designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, and send those memories to a storage unit within the Ash Twin project. Each storage unit inside the Ash Twin project was equipped with a mask. The statue is clad in part, which uh, just then only activate once the Ash Twin project was succeeded. Or in the event of it that it failed. I assume that it failed. The island where the Nomai created this created statues like the one in our observatory. I found a Nomai statue lying on the beach. It looks like the one in our observatory. <laughs> Orbital flash. Gabro sees a bright flash in the sky at the start of every loop sometimes. Something must be happening in orbit around giant steep. Maybe that's what causes all this to happen, because that's like right at the start of the uh, the thing. Also, it takes me back to before, um, to before we got sent, where we got we paired with the thing. So that's weird. Uh, the Nomai discovered a species of four-eyed semi-aquatic life forms in the waterways near the mine. Okay, yeah. Alright, let's go back to go back in there and just get ready for when we get sent into space. Because when we get sent into space, I'll want to I'll need to jump across. I should also re- I should have done fuel as well, shit. Which would be fine as long as I, uh... As long as I get... Across, it'll be fine. Okay, I can. I'll bring this just in case I need it. I don't want to do this twice. And if I don't need it, I'll just drop it somewhere. I'll drop it down so I don't have to go across again. Although I feel like the sun is about to explode. And I won't get a chance to get across, which will suck. <laughs> That would really suck. Now I wait. Whoa. That is bright. Sorry about that. Epilepti epilepsy warning, I guess. That was bright. Come on, throw me up one more time. One more time. I, I will want to go to Dark, Dark Bramble soon. I'll want to go to Brittle Hollow again. That's probably what I'll do tomorrow. Since I went to Brittle Hollow first. Ah, I didn't get to go across again. That sucks. Oh, that's cool. Wait, can you see it? Well, I guess that'll be the end of today's stream. This is a really cool game. At least you don't have to restart every single time. I was not going to be excited for that.
but it was just before we actually got linked because it cares a the game cares a lot about the lore. It's, lot, it's very it's very detailed in the lore. Take off. You're lucky I'm in a time loop, otherwise I'd be super dead. You're lucky I don't have you grounded for medis medical reasons. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> fair, fair. Well, that's where I'm going to end with this stream. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That Yeah, that's where I'm going to end this stream. Um, a lot of, we did a lot. Um, I feel like, I don't know, I've never played this game before. Alright. With that, I'm gonna end the stream. I'm very excited for tomorrow. Um, I'm very excited for tomorrow, where I, uh... Play more of this game. This game's super cool. Thank you to uh, Centipede for uh, recommending this. You said you were going to watch this later. Thank you for... I, I was planning on playing this at some point since I did hear about it, but I'm glad I'm playing this now. Um, anyway, that's where I'm going to end this stream. Bye. <laughs>